Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, for a budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, thank you for watching. Okay guys, so today is a very exciting video. It is a reallocation video. If you watched my very last video, I unstuffed all of my completed savings challenges and all of the savings challenges that were intended to go to the piggy bank this year since we will be cracking into this big black piggy bank by the end of the year for sure. So we unstuffed a whole bunch of money. I counted it all up in my last video. I'm not gonna torture you with the count today, because this money, which I've already counted, <laughs> came to $1,831. So about $1,830 is what we are going to be reallocating today. And I'm not going to do a randomizer. I'm not pulling sinking funds. I'm just going to do my 100 envelope box and my piggy bank since those are my main big savings challenges that I have going this year that I want to try to complete and wrap up by the end of 2023. Wow, that's so incredible. I'm very excited. Okay, so now that I've double checked that we are actually recording, I think we should get right to it. So in my last video, I showed you guys that I had a bunch of star notes I was pulling and I was gonna put them into the piggy bank, into the piggy bank, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, and I also told you that I was going to look up the serial numbers and see if any of them were actually worth something. And guys, this one was, so hit me up if you wanna buy it, <laughs> but um, I think I'm gonna try to sell it on eBay because when I entered it in, all of the star notes that I had were like on the very end of the scale that was like less rare, as in like not rare at all. And what you wanna get is to like the other end of the scale, which is like more rare, like the most rare, you know, note you can find this one was right in the middle so it's like kind of rare so i might be able to get at least i don't know maybe a hundred dollars for it maybe more who knows but i think it's worth a try i mean i work so hard to find them i think if i don't try to do something with it it would kind of be not a waste but like because it was fun to find them i enjoy the hunt but I think it's worth trying to do something with. So I'm gonna set this in here because I told you I would tell you about it in my mini savings video and I definitely will. So I'm gonna set the 50 in my little mini binder right here. I'm going to do some research and I'm going to try to figure out how to list it on eBay and sell it. So wish me luck with that. So if we take out the $50, we had 18, 30 potentially minus 50, we're left with 1780. So that is what we are going to reallocate today is the 1780. I just want to be sure. Yeah, it was that other one that was the rare one. Okay, well, semi rare one. Let's be honest, it was in the middle. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started. The star notes are definitely going into the piggy bank. So I think what I should do is pull the star notes out first and then I'll start with the piggy bank and we will pop them in because we know 100% that those are gonna go into the piggy bank and not into the 100 envelope. So all my star notes were right on top. I think there's about 10 ones. And like I said, I looked them up. They were all like very not rare. So that is fine by me. Okay, so these are all my ones star notes. I should have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Two. Oh, that was not a star note. <laughs> okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, those 10 are going in. And then 20, 30, and then plus all of this. All right, I should just count it all together. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. 10, 50, 70, 90, 10, 50, 70, 90, 100, 210, 30, 50, 70, 80, 90. So 300, it looks like. Yeah, 300, because I think I had 350 initially. So if we have $300 in star notes, this is, so if you guys are new here and you haven't seen, this is my big black piggy bank. I have been saving in this since the beginning of my journey and the beginning of my channel. I want to make sure you guys will be able to see me actually put the money in. Mm, I'll, I'll bring it back. I'll bring it forward when we, get, when we go to stuff it. So as I said, beginning of my journey, I started with that 
piggy bank. And my intention was to use this book that I got from Beautifully Me and You, but I got it on Amazon and it is linked in my description below under savings challenge book. So my intention was to use this book and get through the entire thing and stuff all of it into my piggy bank. And I feel like I have made a lot of good progress, which is awesome. Now, this one is 450 for the jar of hearts. And I said we had 300 right here. So why don't we just add another 100 and another 50, and that will be the 450 for the jar of hearts and I can color in the entire thing. So let me go ahead and count it one more time. Make sure we have 450. 1, 2, 50, 300, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So 450 dollars is correct. Let's set that there. And then I will color in the jar of hearts and I get to do it in one shot, which is awesome. So I'm just going to grab some like random colors. I don't know if these are going to bleed through or not, but I'll just give it a try. It's easy that I'm doing it in one shot and I don't have to like add it up. I can just color. All right, let me see how that did. It bled through a little bit. I think the best ones for this are this one right here. So, and maybe the twinkles and maybe these another twinkle. Okay. So I'm going to swap out what I have next to me. Okay. So now the little snowman is holding the markers that I want. The only thing I want is something to like, okay. It's a good thing. I'm not a professional. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to put that candle there. So it like weighs it down and I should tell you guys a story or something so that you can see me color and I don't have to like cut it out. Okay, so I've decided that I'm, oh my gosh, snow is falling off the roof. I'm gonna tell you about the time that I studied abroad and I lived in Ireland, in Dublin. It was so amazing. I was literally in college and Vanessa and I had just been dating for like, um, I think we celebrated our one year anniversary when I was over there. So we had been dating for like almost a year. I went to, I was studying in Montreal the semester before that. So we were together when I was in Montreal. And then the following semester in college, I went to Ireland. And it was so exciting. I, my roommate was my best friend from college. And we got to like do so many things while we were over there. Obviously we had to like, go to school <laughs> and study. <laughs> um, I didn't care for that color too much, but let's move on to this one. Okay, so we're studying, we're living in Dublin. Um, oh, okay, so I don't really have very interesting stories. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I probably do, but like there, I can't think of any. Okay, so there was one time, however, that we were in the apartment, it was late at night, and all of a sudden we heard, it was probably like midnight, okay? So when I say it was late at night, like it literally was late at night. Um, we heard like a rustling in the kitchen, and I was like, what is going on? Who's in the kitchen at midnight? Like, we're all in bed, we're all sleeping. So me and my roommate, um, my bestie, we go into the kitchen to see like what it is all about. And there's a guy and a girl standing in the kitchen that we do not know. Like we don't recognize them, never met them before in our lives. They're just standing there. The guy is rifling through our fridge and the girl is like standing there watching him. And she's like, <laughs> she's like talking to him and she's like, oh like this isn't the right house or something i don't know what she was saying but basically i think they were like mm, probably intoxicated i think they walked into the wrong like they either were straight up just in the wrong place or they lived in the building too but they were in the wrong apartment i don't even know that they lived in the building because to be honest it seemed like I don't know. It seemed like they weren't supposed to be there like at all. And I'm pretty sure that the people in the building were just the people who we went to school with. And these were definitely not anyone that I went to school with. So it's really weird. But um, basically after she 
was like, oh, this isn't the right, you know, apartment or whatever, then they like left and no harm, no foul, right? So they didn't even end up eating any of our food. <laughs> But like, could you imagine if they had? I don't know, it was just really weird. And it was an experience from a night that I lived in Ireland and we had a little apartment with my roommate. So yeah, that happened one time. Okay, what do you think of my hearts? They're a little wacky, but I was telling a story, so they're not gonna be perfect. Okay, so I have colored in my $450. I feel like I have some more stories. They're coming to my brain now. This might be an interesting one for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna just, oh yeah, I need to bring this forward so you guys can see it. Okay, so yeah, it's on camera now so you guys can see me put the money in. That's like 200, oh, it's like getting kind of full. I mean, it's not full, full, but like it's getting kind of full. Like the money doesn't really want to go in. That was another 100, 20, 40, 60, 81. Here's another 100. And I'm not like, I don't want to squish these startouts too, too much. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. They're not worth anything, right? I, I looked it up. 20, 30, 40. So here's 40. And then the ones, maybe I can do them all together. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, it's by no means packed in there. Like, I could probably shake it. But it's definitely getting full for sure. Um, let's try to do the ones in one chunk. Let's see what happens. Oh, it totally goes. Okay, so the ones are in there now too. We did this one, that takes care of the star notes. I think what we should do next is move on to the 100 envelope. And I think what I should do is I should start at the bottom here and kind of just work my way up. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna color, I'm gonna color them in and I'm gonna add them at the same time. And I don't wanna use these markers. I wanna use these markers. Okay, so I just put like a paper underneath so that it wouldn't bleed through. So I'm gonna color and add at the same time and just kind of work my way up and see how much I decide to put into this. I don't want to complete it today because I really want most of the money to go to the piggy bank, but um, I definitely wanna knock out some of the bigger ones so it's less daunting. And then hopefully I can complete it this year, but I'm really just not sure if I can. So plus 21 plus. All right, so I'm at 43. And then let's do this. I'm just, I'm going to switch colors. Okay, so let's do a 20 right here. I'm going to have to hop around a little bit because I have, I'm going to have different colors in my hand. And so I don't want to do the same color next to each other. So let's add on the 20. All right, now I'm at 63. Let's go for this 19 right here. I'll just try to like hop around and grab some of the bigger numbers and see what I get. I don't really have an idea of how much I wanna do. 19, how about this 21 over here? That one's looking good. Yeah, this challenge is from Lisa Grateful Me. It is from the Happy Mailbox Co. on Etsy, and it's a $1,300 100 envelope box. Did I add the 21? Stop. 103. Let me see. Let me count it again. 22 plus 20 plus 21 plus 19 plus 21 equals 103. Yeah. Okay. So, so far I've done $103. So why don't we do that to start? And then, okay. So I'm going to put this back in here to separate the ones that are done and not done again, because I don't know. I just feel like I should. Also, guess what? I just realized I can't just hop around and add them up because if I do that, it's not like I'm just going to grab a $100 bill and $3 and stick it into one envelope. I'm supposed to be stuffing these envelopes and sticking them in individually. So I guess we're going to have to do things by the book here. And that's 20, okay? So I did a 20 right up top, right? Oh, no, it was a 21. All right. <laughs> I think most of this money is going to go into the piggy bank because I feel like it's a little easier to stuff the piggy bank than it is the 100 envelope. But I am determined to get somewhere on this challenge, so we just have to keep going. Um, I think if I ever do another 100 envelope challenge again, I don't know that I wanna do a traditional 
um, cash one. Okay, so that's the 21. Let's do the 19. So we'll go 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I think I would probably want to do it digitally just because it is a lot of money to just be sitting in a box in your house. And um, yeah, and then also, do I love stuffing individual envelopes? I don't know. Do I love just stuffing it into one piggy bank instead? I think I prefer that. So we did that one. We did that one. Did I color that one? No, I colored that one. Let's subtract it. Subtract the 21. Okay, subtract the 19. Okay, now I'm at 63. I'm going to this 20 right here because I think that was the next one I did. And I'm not going to do that whole coloring thing um, again like that where I just color a bunch of them. Wouldn't it be nice if I could just color a bunch of them though? That would be nice. All right, well, you get what you get. I'll have to tell you about the time that I rescued a bird in Dublin when I'm doing the piggy bank coloring because <laughs> obviously I can't multitask with this one. So, but I will tell you that story too, because that's a cute story. All right, 21 was the one right next to it. Did I, did I deduct the 20? And then did I deduct the 21? All right, 22. Yeah, and that's the 22. All right, I'm on track now. I'll stuff one more envelope for 22. And then, yeah, and I'll be good to go. I don't want to use up all my 20s either. I should start pulling some 10s and 5s too. All right, so here's the 22. Now, what we're going to have to do is one, I hope you guys can see this box too. Yeah, you can. Um, we're going to have to do one at a time. So why don't I do a 19 next right here. So I'll color this box in for 19. Perfect. All right. And then I'll go 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that's how we're going to do it. We're going to do one one box, one envelope at a time. 16, 17, 18, 19. Perfect. And that was that cool Where's George bill that I tracked, which was really fun to do. Oh, and I have a Canadian bill. Where's, ah, they definitely don't call it George in Canada, but I want to do that one as well. Okay, so that was the 19. I think we need a green right over here. So we're going to do this 18 in green. And then doing it this way, I really can just knock off the boxes on the bottom, which is nice. Okay, so 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Love it. And I like to fold it in thirds so it fits into these envelopes that I made myself. I was really determined when I first started cash stuffing to make myself a 100 envelope box. It was like one of the things I created. So in a way, it was the thing that started it all, sparked my creativity to keep going, keep making challenges, keep making things. And now obviously I have an Etsy shop and I absolutely love creating challenges. Okay, so 10, 15, 16, 17, 10, 15, 16, 17. Again, I have no idea how much I'm going to stuff in this, but I mean, maybe we should just go all the way to this one and then we've gotten somewhere. Then we can just keep going back to the piggy bank. Because I think my, I'm most excited to stuff the piggy bank because all those mini challenges that I unstuffed, I had done for the piggy bank. So... Um, I had started those challenges with the intention of them going into the piggy bank. And so it's so exciting, even though some of them weren't fully completed. It's just so satisfying that now they're actually going to the place, the place where they belong. Okay, so I did a 16 right there. So we'll go 10, 15, 16. And I am liking this, actually. This is kind of fun. I wish you guys sometimes... You know what I should have done? I should have done this live. I was going to say, sometimes I wish you guys could like experience it with me. But I guess if I start going live, you guys can kind of share in the fun and it can be like a conversation and like an interactive kind of thing. Okay, so that was the 16. But honestly, I get like easily distracted. So I don't know how I would do like reading comments and filming and doing things. But I guess it would be more like a hangout 
and less of like a serious video. Not that this is serious by any means. I mean, I'm about to tell you about the time I adopted a bird <laughs> in Dublin. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Definitely not serious. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Except I am serious that that really happened. I'll tell you guys about it. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> okay, I'm folding up the $14. And we're going to pop it in. Why don't we just do these three more for now and then we'll switch back to the piggy. See how that goes and see if we can come back to the 100 envelope box. See, now this is getting tight like it kind of shouldn't be in there. But why don't we switch up here and do these three, 18, 17, and 16. We'll kind of like get some of them out of the way here. So let's do this 18 because these are kind of smaller. I want to put like a higher amount to this. So I'll save myself some ones, twos, and threes. That's easy. All right, $18. So 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Perfect. Fold it up. And my envelopes are not labeled. Um, since I have the tracker, I didn't want to like stick numbers on them so that I didn't have to deal with like finding the 18 or finding, you know what I mean? The individual envelope, I could just stuff it. So hopefully it all shakes out to the right amount at the end and I didn't mess an envelope up, but who knows? 10, 15, 16, 17 is the next one that I'm going to color in. So let's do that. 15, 16, 17. Perfect. And then I'll do the 16 as well. And then we can move back to the piggy bank. So what color should I do? I think I should do this darker blue because I feel like there are so many times that I go for a color and I go for like pink, purple, and like this teal, like blue color. So I'm trying to get more like or just get better about grabbing other colors, darker colors or greens and blues and things that I might not necessarily grab right away. Gotta be fair and equal to all of the colors. Okay, except now I'm just gonna do a purple. <laughs> I love purple. Honestly, I love every shade of purple, like dark purple, light purple, like lavender, and even like these like, I don't know, do they call it like royal purple? What do they call this one? Oh, deep violet. Like, this is pretty, too. I love all the shades. All right, so this is the 16 box. So let's go ahead and pop $10, $15, $16 into this one. Fold it up. And then let's switch gears and go back to the piggy bank because I feel like we kind of got somewhere on this. Now, I think I can actually pull this out and they're just gonna have to co-mingle here so there we go i think that looks good they're all standing up a little bit better you can drop the top down and that's good okay so let's go back to this book over here the easy mini cash budget thousand or left savings challenge planner what a mouthful and let's go to the next jar of hearts which is this one right here and it's going to be another 450. so i say we just do it right 150 200 20 40 60 83 20 40 60 84 and we'll go 20 40 50. all right all right let's do it so we're gonna do the 450 for jar of hearts except i have to get it in order here we go Oh yeah, where's my little candle? My, my, uh, what's that called? Uh, not a page holder, paperweight. Yeah, it's my paperweight. Okay, so we have 100, 50, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 50, 450 for jar of hearts. Again, let's set it there and we'll do some coloring. Okay, so I'm finally gonna tell you about the time I adopted a bird when I was in Dublin. So again, we were at our apartment. Now our apartment was literally like, it was kind of like a hotel or one of those hotels where it's like apartment living, but it was like that. I mean, it was a secured entry. So again, how that person got into my house in the middle of the night, I have no idea. I don't think the college was very happy that that happened. But anyways, we're, we're talking about the bird here. Okay, so I'm in my apartment. It's daytime. It's like midday on a Saturday. We're hanging 
hanging out. We're not doing much, right? So all of a sudden, I hear this like tweet, tweet, tweet. And I'm like, what is that noise? And my roommate, again, bestie, is like, honestly, it sounds like a bird. And so I was like, all right, well, where's it coming from? So we like opened our door and our door was like connected to like a hallway, but like the hallway had like exposed balcony. So like you go outside, but then you go inside to the elevator. Anyways, it's like a situation where you're in a hallway, but there's a balcony. So obviously the bird could have flown right into that spot. So where the bird was, was like right at our front door. And it was just like tweet tweeting and hopping around. And I was like, what what's the deal with this bird this looks like a pet bird and it had like a little um like a little plastic thing around its ankle so I was like yeah somebody definitely put that there like it it honestly looked like a bird you would buy in a pet store it was like a pet bird I have no idea what kind of bird it was I wish I knew I wish I was a bird person and I could tell you like it was this bird but it's just a little yellow pet store bird and it was like tweeting around and and I like we stepped outside and I was like looking at it and then it like hopped on my slipper because I was wearing my slippers and it was just like sitting on my slipper and I was like oh my gosh what are we gonna do with this little bird like who does it belong to what should I do basically and so we ended up bringing the bird inside and like bringing it into our bathroom area and um we called like I called the director of the college and like told them, hey, we found this bird, whatever, whatever. And so they were like, all right, well, you know, we'll make a post and we'll see if anybody is like missing their bird. And we just like, okay, well, what do I do with the bird until then? And so they were like, well, just go to the store and get the things that the bird needs. And so we went to the store. Honestly, I, they didn't like reimburse me or anything. They were just like, I don't know, get the bird some stuff and just wait to hear if, you know, somebody's missing their bird. And I made some phone calls too or something. I was calling around and I went to the pet store. I obviously notified them to see if, you know, if you hear of anybody missing their bird, this is what it looks like. I had a photo of the bird, you know, I was trying to be a, like a good person and find the real home of the bird. And so then... I went to the store, I bought it all the things it needed. I bought it a cage, I bought it, you know, the it's food, anything that, you know, I asked the guy, I said, this is the bird, it's at my house, what do I need? He hooked me up, he showed me what to get, I got all the stuff for the bird, I made the bird very comfortable in our little apartment in Dublin, and no one claimed the bird, and so the bird lived with us the entire semester that I was there. So we had a bird, <laughs> okay? I need to stick the $400 in now. Well, let me pull this forward again so that you guys can see the money going in. And this is the $450. So let's do 200 here. 152. Yeah, I'm going to fold it up and put it together. Honestly, I think this is getting full, guys. I can't even believe it. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60. Here's 160. Let's give it a stuff. Stuff it right in. Oh my gosh. So at the end, I wanted to take the bird home with me, but there was no way I could fly on the plane back to the US with the bird. I would have had to like put it under, it would have been a whole thing, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 dollars. And so the director who was the first person that I contacted, he said that his mother wanted to take the bird. And so she had the bird and she got a new pet, which is amazing. It was a really sweet bird, but it was very loud. It made all the bird noises, including one that sounded like a car alarm. So maybe that's why, like 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60. Maybe that's why someone maybe let it go or something. They didn't want the bird because it was kind of a loud bird. My roommates were not that happy that I rescued the bird. But like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. I mean, the bird needed a home. Like, let's be honest. Like, it definitely needed a home. And I felt good about keeping the bird and giving it a nice home for a while. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So I think this is about $300 that I grabbed. And we're looking for $360 on this next challenge. 
Yeah, sometimes I think about that bird and I miss that bird. But I definitely don't want to have a bird in life because they are a lot of work and, like I said, a little bit noisy. Okay, so 360 is what I'm looking for for the vacation tracker. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 75, 85, 95, 300, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 60. Yay, I did it right. 360. I grabbed all that money while I was still talking. Okay, so we're going to stuff this money in, but I'm going to color in this beautiful tracker. I'm not going to be like nitpicky and like color the glasses a different color than the sun or like the sandals two toned. I mean, I kind of want to do that, but at the same time, I'm trying to be like time conscious. And so I'm just going to color them all in individually, like one whole color. So the sun is getting colored in yellow. Maybe the flip flops will be green and the um, ball can be blue. Let's see what I do. And it's nice that I'm like knocking it out in one chunk because I don't have to worry about, oh, the sun's 20, the flip-flop's 10. Like I just like, boom, knock it out. That's the way I like to do it. Okay. The ball was wanting to be purple. So that's what we're going with. Yeah. I wonder if the mom still has the bird or not. I don't know how long birds stick around for, but it was a really sweet bird. Anyways, the other thing that we did when I went to Dublin is I went to the zoo. So the zoo in Dublin, one of our friends flew out to visit us. So me and my roommate, her best friend, who is also my best friend now, um, she flew out to visit us. And so for a whole week, she got to hang out and we did so many things. We went to like just beautiful, incredible places in Ireland. And um, one of them was the Dublin Zoo. And I honestly, I really miss the Dublin Zoo. Like, can I color this little ball though? Cause it wants to be colored. Yeah, I mean, I really miss the Dublin Zoo. Like, I, I think about going to a zoo here and I'm like, there's no way it's gonna be as nice. <laughs> but who knows, maybe, maybe, it will surprise me and there will be a really nice zoo in the United States. I haven't been to a zoo. I honestly, guys, I don't go to zoos very often because I don't know. I just have a thing about like certain reptiles and things and I know they always have those there. And so I avoid it. But what I did see at the Dublin Zoo was like incredible, like rhinos, like um, giraffes, like, come on, have you ever seen a giraffe? How incredible. Elephants, like tigers, ostrich, like just everything you could possibly see. Some animals that like I had never seen in my life and then I got to see them at the zoo. And so that was a really nice experience. And then another place that we went to when my friend was visiting was like this old prison. Oh, that was really cool. Um, yeah, I cannot remember what it was called for the life of me. But um, it was like this old prison and we got to walk around and like see the, the cells and the rooms and like learn about the history of it. And like, honestly, I really enjoy learning about history. And so that was super fun for me. And then we went to like this garden and it was like the most beautiful garden grounds that I had like ever seen. And that was like our entire day that day. Okay, I did all my coloring. So now we are going to stuff this $360 into the piggy bank. Let's see if we can get this all in one chunk. Guys, this piggy bank is actually getting quite full. I am loving it. I think, I think I'm going to be good to smash it like this, you know, this month and have it actually be like full. Like, look at that. Look at that. It's, oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, I'm just so excited because when I first started this piggy bank, it was basically a way, like on my cash stuffing journey, I knew that I would only be successful if I could keep money out of my bank account. I've talked about this before, but I always had a way of spending the money that was in the account. And so this was a way to just like get it out of my account and get it out of my hands where I couldn't physically see it. And I knew that it would be like safe. Now, obviously on my cash stuffing journey, I am a lot more 
Um, I've grown a lot and I'm a lot better with my money and you know, it's important for me to save for things like sinking funds and long-term savings. And so I feel like I don't need the piggy bank anymore, but at the same time, how much fun is this piggy bank? Okay. So let's keep going. <gasps> Look at this. You get to choose your own, choose your own adventure. Yes. What should we do? Should I try to use up some of these ones? I think that's what I'll do. Coloring all of this, like, oh no, I don't have to color all the background. I just have to color that. Yeah, the letters. Okay, so this is a 200. Save half of any of the money spent on coffee or tea. Add savings for your next 15 purchases. Okay, let's be honest. When I buy a coffee, it's at least $5. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Okay, so we could make, so we could make this a $75 challenge. I feel good about that. I don't know what it will look like if I color with this. Oh, it looks like it's dark. Oh, it's not that bad. Okay, I'm going to color them in this color because I was going to do like a two-tone thing, but this is not, this is not looking cute. I'm just going to go for it here. I was thinking of the red Christmas cups um, from Starbucks. Remember how they like do like a Christmas theme, you know, look each year? Um, I used to work at Starbucks, guys. Can you believe it? I actually worked there while I was on my IVF journey to be able to have health insurance that would cover my IVF journey. So it was really fun. I will say I was not that good at making the drinks. Like my strong suit was definitely the cash register. Oh my gosh, is that funny or what? Yup, that was my strong suit, the cash register, ringing people up, that's what I liked most, ringing in the orders and talking with people that was my favorite thing to do and i was not very fast at making the drinks but i knew how to make all the drinks and i could make all the drinks which is pretty awesome so yeah that was my experience at starbucks okay so again i think we're doing 75 for this one um let's just grab a bunch of ones one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen forty so i think that's forty dollars and then this would make fifty sixty and then 65 70 let's try that uh 75 didn't i say 75 okay so this <laughs> big huge chunk of ones which i mean i probably should have like swapped it out or like condensed it a little bit but i mean it's just gonna fill up the piggy bank more right so 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 36, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, and I did 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. All right, so I'm doing $75 in for the coffee. I think I should try to do them in smaller chunks because I think that it's like bulking it up so much. But... I don't know. I'll just do smaller chunks and see how that goes. It's definitely getting full. Oh, geez. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Gonna have to bust it soon. How many of you were on my channel from the very beginning? I want to know. Like, in the comments, tell me. How long have you been here? When did you find me? Did you find me when I first started and I was just starting this piggy bank or did you just find me literally today? Like, let me know because I'm so glad you guys are here for it. Like we're gearing up to be able to smash this piggy bank and it's gonna be so incredible. I honestly, just like the anticipation and the hype is just like insane. <laughs> like, okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I don't even know like how I'm gonna do it, what I'm gonna do, but like I've been thinking about it and it's gonna happen. Okay, so we stuffed some more money in. Now this one is a $200 challenge. And then let's look at the next one. Another 200, oh, and it's Christmas. Love it, love it, love it, love it. How close are we to finishing this thing? 
I mean, we're not far off. All right, I have 200, 400. This, you can make it your own. This, you can make it your own. This is 300, so that's two, four, five, six, seven hundred. And then seven and eight is a uh, 15, 1600, I think. And then, so like 22 ish, 2200 ish. Yeah, that's kind of a ways off, but all we can do is just keep going and keep plugging away on it. Do you think I have another $200 here or do you think I should switch back to 100 envelope challenge? I think what I should do is, I think I should switch back to the 100 envelope box and then just go until the 20s, 10s, and 5s are used up and then all of the rest of the ones I will finish up and put into the piggy bank. So that way, you know, because I don't want these to be stuffed full with a lot of ones. Okay, so let's go to... Let's go here and do this 23. So we'll go 20 and we'll go one, two, three. Again, I have to figure out what colors I wanna do. Sometimes decisions like picking colors are difficult for me. I really hope I'm not the only one and you guys are like, yeah, I struggle with choosing colors too. <laughs> because if I was the only one, I would feel sad. Okay, 20, 21, 22, $23. And then we'll fold it up. This is so nice to be able to hit both of these with a good amount of money. It's nice that now, you know, birthdays had been funded, Christmas had been funded. And so this money that I got to unstuff, I knew I could just put it towards, you know, my goals, which these challenges are my goals. So 10, 20, 21, 22 is gonna be the next one. And I'm gonna use this pink right over here for 22. Yeah. Okay, so I did the 22, 10, 20, 1, 2. And we'll fold this one up as well. And pop this one in next. Perfect. Perfect. I wonder if I could add up how much money is left on this challenge after and see how close we are. I really want to be able to finish it by the end of the year. 10, 20, 25. So I got a 25. I definitely don't have a 25. I need a 21. So why don't we just do 10, 20, and then 1. And that'll be the next one. I think we need a purple, like a lighter looking purple. We'll do this color right here. Beautiful. Okay, so 21, 10, 21. Hopefully I haven't done anything wrong, like, because, especially with the piggy bank, because I can't unstuff it to correct my mistake. But, I mean, if I understuffed, I could always add more. But I've been trying to count correctly, you know, I've been really trying. Okay, so 21, I think that's what we just did. Pop that in, and then 5, 10, 15. There's a 15. Let's see, 16, 17, 18, 19. Let's do that just to try to eat up some of these ones. All right, let's count it. 5, 10, 11, just kidding. I only did 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, there's the five. <laughs> okay, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. $19. I'm gonna find a 19 and color in a 19 since it's kind of one of the bigger ones. And look at how full this is getting. I honestly don't even know if all of these, like once they're full, um, I don't know if they're all gonna fit in this box, but it would be nice if they did. Okay, so let me find a 19 right there. I'm gonna do this pale pink over here. Do I keep doing this pale pink? No, this one's a little bit lighter than the other one. Okay, so that's cute. Let's do the 19 in pink. And then let's see if there's another 19. And I can do 5, 10, 15. And then I can do 16, 17, 18, 19. Let's do that. I can't wait. I want to add this up once I'm done. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right. So let's fold this up. Fold this up. 
And yeah, I just don't wanna like bulk it up with all these ones since it's already kind of like full in this box. So the ones are gonna have to get shoved into the piggy bank, but that is okay. Let's go right here for 19 and we'll do this 19 in pink as well. Super cute. Perfect, okay. So now we have 5, 10 and then 11, 12, 13, 14. That's probably as much as I'm willing to put into the envelope. And let's do this 14 right here. So this is a cute color. All right, perfect. 14, oops. Okay, 14 here. So let's give it another count. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, and then I think that does it for the 100 envelope box today. I feel good about it. I feel like it got a lot of love and yet the main focus was the piggy bank and so we got to stuff a bunch in there. So we can count up the rest of the ones and see how much we have left and then I kind of want to add this up. So why don't you just give me a minute? I'll either fast forward or I'll just cut. So and then I'll tell you how much is left. Okay, so it looks like only $562 left until this $1,300 challenge is completed. And how amazing is that? I wish, I kind of wish I could grab some more, like I could condense this down and then I could keep going. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Okay, so this is $60 right here. It's like if I could swap this out for 320s, I would be good to do some more on here. So why don't I try to do that? This is my bills binder and the money that's in this binder just goes right back to the bank at the end of the month. So why don't we take 20, 40, 60 from AT&T, that leaves 60 in AT&T. And since the money's just gonna go right back to the bank anyways, we'll just put the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 60. So we'll put the $60 into AT&T, and then we'll just put the 20, 40, 60 from AT&T, and then we'll just put the 20, 40, 60 from AT&T, and then we'll just put the 20, 40, 60 from AT&T, and then we'll just put the 20, 40, 60 from AT&T, and then we'll just put the 20, 40, 60 from AT&T, and then we'll just put the 20, 40, 60 from AT&T, and then we'll just put the 20, 40, 60 from AT&T, and then we'll just put the 20, 40, 60 from AT&T, and then we'll just put the 20, 40, 60 from AT&T, and then we'll just put the 20, if it even fits oh my gosh <laughs> okay I might have just maxed that envelope out but that is fine so that means we can keep going on this and I think I should do that rather than just put a bunch of ones into the piggy bank because it doesn't need bulk right now it needs like solid amount like as in higher denominations so I almost wonder if I should condense more than that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Like, that's another 20. I'm going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to go to like storage or something and I'm going to pull two tens. So 10, 20. And then I'm going to stick the $20 and ones into the storage envelope and that can go back to the bank. And then we've made some more change. So now I can keep going on this, which is awesome. Let's try to grab some of these. Oh, look, I got a 22 and a 23 and a 24. Let's go for those. So 20, one, two. So let's do that one. 22. Yeah, I think the closer I get on this 100 envelope box, the happier I am going to be. So let's pop the 22 in and then we will color it in. Put it right back here and grab a color. 
22 is looking like it needs some teal blue over here. Cute, 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 cute. Like the ocean. I love the ocean. Okay. So then let's do 23 as well. One, two, three. Perfect. 20, one, two, three. And we'll fold it up. So when I was over in Dublin, my wife actually flew out to visit me. And when she flew out to visit me, we went over to Portugal since I have Portuguese heritage and I've always wanted to go to Portugal. And so we spent, spent some time in a place called Alfama, which is kind of close to like Lisbon. So yeah, it was really beautiful. It was a wonderful time. More than anything, I love the food. I mean, obviously the scenery was beautiful. Just the whole experience was wonderful. I would absolutely love to go back to Portugal someday. Um, but yeah, that was for our one year anniversary and that just really, it was just such a special trip. So we did go to Portugal. Okay, so 24 is the next box over here. One, two, three, four. Oh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. 20, one, two, three, four. Perfect. So let's do the 24 as well. This pile has slowly dwindled down, but I mean, it was just so exciting to count up all that money initially to unstuff it all, to feel so completely satisfied with all of my hard work and all of the energy and effort that I put into those savings challenges and to know that once I complete a bunch of them, I can hit these larger and bigger savings challenge goals. It's just such an incredible feeling. Okay, so that was the 24. I lost my box. Oh, there it is over there. What color should we do? Let's do this color over here. I haven't used this color and it's a cute color. So let's do the 24 right over here in this color. I'm trying to make this like colorful and beautiful and I think it's coming along great. So I have 10, 11 and then a 10. I have an 11 right there, but I don't think I have a 10 because I think I've done all my 10s. So would I have, what if I had a 21? Oh, I have a 21 right there. So that's what I'll do. I'll do the 21 instead. All right. And I'm thinking like it needs some blue, some like real blue here. And let's color in the 21 and that's going to be it for money. Wow. But that's awesome. Okay. 10, 21. I mean, I feel like I made a lot of headway on this 100 envelope box, which is really awesome because when you're kind of like at the beginning half of a challenge, it feels like it will go on for a long time and it's a little bit discouraging. Once you start getting past like the halfway mark, you're like, okay, I see it. I see it happening. I can, I can complete this. So this is feeling a lot more like manageable and I feel like I can probably try to hit it hard and if I don't finish it by the end of the year at least I know I have put a good amount of energy and effort towards it but yeah that is it I have cash stuffed all of the money I have no idea if I got a thumbnail I don't think I did but it's gonna be what it's gonna be this was so fun. This is what I literally do all these savings challenges for. But that is it, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. So please make sure to subscribe if you guys have not done so already. But that is going to be it for today's video. So other than that, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.